Hello there, Enigmatico here. Um, sad times for this video. I uh, just heard that uh, Thomas Weiss, who is one of the guys I met in Acapulco, has passed away. I don't know much more than that at the moment. A few days ago, and somebody tagged, and I've just seen it. And looking on the profile, he can't really get any as to what's gone on. He did get in touch with me a few months ago before Christmas. His girlfriend was a really beautiful me Mexican girl who was actually murdered in a, I think she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, one of the cartel thingamajigs. That's Mexico, isn't it? It's unfortunate, but uh, you've got to be so unlucky for it to happen, but I guess it does happen. And uh, obviously he was distraught after that. They were going to get married. He messaged me because I was in Thailand at the time. He messaged me asking me what Thailand was like because he was going to escape to Thailand. Uh, you know, one thing he did say was, you know, he really wanted to find the guy who did it and get revenge, which you can understand. But I wouldn't go down that route personally. But then again, I don't really know if I would because, you know, I didn't have a beautiful Mexican girlfriend who got killed by some other, some other dude. So who knows what you would do in that situation. Um, yeah, I mean, whew. so whether he's committed suicide... Well, I don't, I don't, as I say, I don't really know, but it's just quite a shock because he was a really cool guy. I mean, he was writing, he wrote a couple of books recently. Um, you know, when I knew him, he was, we, we met up at uh, Acapulco Ron's place, you know, uh, with Mike, Mike, who used to work behind the bar and that. He used, you know, we had some good times there, some good nights. And then he was just saying, you know, he was trying to, you know, Instead of getting fucked up all the time, he was trying to do something productive with his life. So fair play to him. And he's sort of like, you know, as I said, he was he was doing some good stuff. He wrote a couple of books. He sent me one to read. I didn't get around to reading it. Uh, but uh, uh, what else can I say? Uh, and then he met this beautiful girl. I remember seeing his Facebook posts and, uh, you know, calling him my fiance and all that again to get married. So, brother, sorry it had to end like that. Acapulco claims yet another. Um, I don't know whether he went to an Acapulco, but uh, he was certainly of that ilk and a, a cool guy. I don't think he was into crypto or anything like that, but certainly, uh, maybe he was. Maybe he was. Uh, yeah, so Thomas Wise, man. Fuck. I'll see if we can get a screenshot of him and put him at put him at the end of this video as a bit of a tribute. Uh yeah man, that's crazy. Fucking death man, right? <laughs> Folks, death is so close always, so got a one of the reasons that I started traveling really was to, you know experience as much as I could before the final curtain comes down from my life. And uh, it's a great wise saying, like, you know, like live it like, you know, it seems like a cliche, but live every day like it's your last and all those kind of things. Each moment could be our last, couldn't it? So, you know, if you really sort of take that on board, use it as a catalyst to change your life and, and you, you know, get it, squeeze every little last bit of um, whatever you can out of life enjoy enjoy the moment don't worry about fucking banal shit which we we all do don't we to a certain degree enjoy the moment have some good times enjoy your friends enjoy your girlfriend if you got one or your boyfriend and uh yeah we'll travel the world as i'm doing uh as a digital nomad teaching guitar online and doing a few gigs here and there that's what took me to acapulco in the first place and you know i met jeff berwick and max egan and that was one chapter of it. I'm now in India and uh, probably going to Bali. So uh, you can do that as well. Just get the fuck out of the country that you fucking get out of your nine to five job. It's never been so easy. Anyway, getting off the getting off the point. Uh, rest in peace, Thomas Weiss, and uh, you know, hope you find peace after uh, what happened because it was obviously very very stressing and horrible to go through that so shit man anyway yeah over and out live your life